This is code.org. Let's see what we have. Creating functions to organize code. In game lab, all action is happening in the draw loop, but too much complex code makes it really confusing to read. Yeah, we've seen our draw loop get ginormous. To keep your draw loop easy to read, use functions for large chunks of code. You can call them or ask them to run like draw day, draw night inside the draw loop and define them, right? This is where the definition is, right? The mouth, green mouth thing is what the function actually runs when we say its name, when it's called. You can call them, yep, yep, yep. yep. This is a really good example of making, of using abstraction to think about a, problems at a higher level and worry about the details later. Yes, and you'll see this word a lot in computer science, abstraction, is to have a broad kind of overview look and it's to make things more usable throughout a program and have the details located elsewhere. Do this. This program should draw a daytime scene or a nighttime scene. Oh, we only have day. Depending on the mouse's location, okay? The draw loop describes what happens, what needs to happen, but one of the functions hasn't been written. Write the draw night function, which has been created but is empty. Okay, hint, look at the picture to the right, now make an image, got it. So we need to create an image like this. Here's my draw night function. I'm gonna take a look at their, okay, so, background, I don't know, what color is that? I'm gonna say navy. Oh, that already works. Oh, okay, navy. And then, what did they do here? I wanna have their ellipse exactly the same. Oh, these are the little ones. Oh, this is, this must be their son. So I'm actually gonna steal this. Right click. Oh, I have to click Command C. You could also do this in text mode. Because I like this, Command C. Or right click and click Copy. And then I'm gonna go up here and you see this little black dot? Boom. All right, great. Let me get rid of that and that. Now, obviously I need a moon. So I'm gonna use their comment. Just remind me what this is. And to have a moon, gray should be all even like here. And let's check. Yep, perfect. I'm liking that. Uh, they did no stroke, so I could also do that. That just means no outline. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's talk about this, the water. This is gonna be a bit trickier. Notice how they have done these random X and Y for the dots, that's what the dots actually are. Now let me see, oh, they've even labeled the water. Good, I'm gonna do a copy on that as well because we want it to be exact, copy. We have to make changes for it to be correct, but we do want it to be exactly the same spot. It's not like the water magically changes spots because it's nighttime. Okay, let me just organize this a bit. All right, now the water's color. So I did navy for this. Mm. I might make it a bit darker. Definitely not that. Let's actually go down some, I think we'll do it. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, sure, I might do 60. All right, that's my water. Now those dots, these dots are being made with this code right here, these ellipses. And so I'm gonna do one as an example. I'll go into drawing. I'm gonna grab, let me reset this. Reset. I'm gonna grab an ellipse out and put it up here in my function. Oop, get rid of that. The ellipse here. And I'll also do a space and a comment. I'll call these dots. Okay. And now what they've been doing with them is making them randomly appear. So their X and Y is random, and then their width and height is five pixels. I know this by, if I look at this, ellipse. X, Y location, that's random. Now it's random between 50 and 150 for X. So that's this side of the screen, right? 50 to 150 and 300 to 400 for Y. And that makes sense. That's where the water is located. So that's what I want up here, except X. So that was 50, no, yeah, 50 to 150 for X and 300 to 400 for Y. And like I said, all of them were the size of five. So five width, five height. What color did they do? They have it the same color as the sun. Okay, so we can have it the same color as the moon. It could be a reflection. 
it's looking good. So that's just one of them. They have a bunch. And what I'm going to do for these other ones is copy, or I can just copy the one I made. It is the same. And then hit paste. Okay. And now... Let's check. But uh let me see. Awesome. And see how all of this complex code, if I look at the draw loop, this makes sense fast, right? Oh, okay, so if the mouse is on uh, greater than 200Y, if it's down here, it is night. If it's up here, it's day. It's a pretty easy to read that. However, if I just scrolled through this code and it's all dots and all this in a circle, I'd be like, what is that? However, we created a function and put all the code inside of it, and it's real easy to read and see what's going on. And we have an awesome, 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 awesome scene. Onward.